yesterday while training in Vegas. He had already suffered an Achilles tear and a quadriceps tear in the past two years. Boogie signed a one-year, $3.5 million deal with the Lakers this offseason. He was supposed to bolster a front court for the Lakers alongside Anthony Davis <clears throat> and help LeBron reach the playoffs. Whether or not Boogie will be available at all for the upcoming season is unknown. Rob Parker, does Boogie's injury hurt the Lakers' title hopes? I don't want to be a prisoner of the moment or sound the alarm. But sound it. But sound the alarm, Laker uh, faithful. You know, Greg, people are here in Los Angeles was doing the Boogie fever when they signed him. They just thought, what a perfect scenario. Boogie needs to reestablish himself. He's had nothing but injuries, right? He comes to the Lakers, has a chance to help LeBron and AD maybe get to the finals, maybe win a championship, and then people would be like, oh, he's back, this is great. And instead, you wind up losing this guy, probably won't play the entire year. This is a big blow to the Lakers because I think that they thought they had gotten lucky in being able to pick him up, especially after the Kawhi deal fell through and they had to put together a roster because they were holding out and Boogie was still available. We all know that Boogie Cousins, numbers-wise, when he's healthy, he's as good as anybody. This guy was averaging 27 and 12. What, three at, years ago? Yes, but I'm just saying, when he's Last healthy. When he was healthy. Right, when he's healthy, he's a great player. And he was on the verge in Sacramento signing a big contract. That didn't happen. They wound up trading him in the last couple of years. And even this past year, in the playoffs for Golden State. Remember, he came back from an injury, played well. In gave, one game. In one game, gave them a, a lift, and then, of course, he got hurt again. But I think the Lakers um, are now a team that seems to be snake-bitten. Because if you look at last year and this year, LeBron got hurt for the first time, missed time last year. Also, Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart, Brandon Ingram. Uh, uh, and don't forget, they have Anthony Davis now this year, who's missed 14 14 or more games, right, in five of his first seven years in the NBA. So he's prone to be hurt as well. So when you start looking at all this stuff, you go, are they just not, is this not just going to happen? LeBron's coming into year 17. This is a blow to the Lakers. And I think that they will not, N-O-T, have a shot at a championship without Boogie. But not have a shot at the title? Yes. Because a role player got hurt. Okay, Absolutely. Greg Jennings, you're up. This is not a blow to the Lakers' title hopes. This is a blow to Boogie Cousins. Mm. This is a huge blow. So they to didn't Boogie need Cousins. him. They didn't need him at all. They, could they have used him? Of course. This is why you go out and you sign him on a one-year deal worth three and a half million dollars because you know the potential that is there of what we've seen. You mentioned it. Of what he can provide when healthy, but defensively, does he? Would he have made them a better team? No. No. So when, when I'm looking at the landscape of the Los Angeles Lakers, I'm not at all concerned. I'm more concerned for Boogie and his personal status. But the Lakers, no, you acquired Anthony Davis. That was your primary goal this offseason. Get another guy in here alongside of LeBron James that can be a superstar that when LeBron James is on the bench, you keep Anthony Davis in and you still feel really good about your chances. You feel good that this team is still going to be productive on both ends of the court. So Boogie Cousins, although he could be a great addition, that's what he would have been. He would have been an addition. And mind you, you have a young Kyle Kuzma. Who, who is definitely up and coming, a budding star in this league who is averaging 18 points. You add in a Boogie, a boogie Cousins that's healthy who is going to require more touches. That takes away from the growth progression of a Kyle Kuzma. So I'm not saying that I'm excited that Boogie Cousins got hurt because that is not at all the case here, but it doesn't hurt them. It actually will probably help them. I, I'm not buying that. You sound like the typical Lakers fan. And two years ago, when Paul George turned down LeBron, who wants Paul George? No, 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 no. What no. has he ever won? Wait a minute. And then uh, when Kawhi, of course, also didn't want to come, we don't need Kawhi anyway. We got AD. Who and needs now, Kawhi? And now you got you get you sign Boogie, who had so much to prove and play for. He did. All right, he did. So you could have gotten lightning in a bottle where this guy's playing for his 
financial future mm -hmm. and could have added so much well, to the Lakers. And now we don't really need. Well, that's what we the don't Warriors really need thought. Boogie. No. The Warriors thought that he was going to be. Yeah, playing and when he for played with, he them, got hurt. And when that's... he played for them and they put him in the starting lineup, they kept winning. No, they were playing stop great. It. Stop it. They Rob. were playing great. Three, with four, them. five years ago, Demarcus Cousins was an awesome they player. They were playing well. Go look at the record. Yeah, when he, he was played playing. thirty games last year. He came back from injury. Played 30 games, played well, got hurt again. Comes back, had the one but good game in the finals. he played well when he was yeah, in as a there. role player. 16 but and 8. He yeah, did. 16 and 8. As a role player on a stacked team where he's not asking to He's still anything. putting up numbers. But and my you, point the, was, with the Lakers, don't act like you didn't need him. Well, I'll tell you why they don't now. need him. Well, it's coming. As Greg uh, wisely said, this is a guy who doesn't play defense. What does their new foot coach, Frank Vogel, preach? He's mm -hmm. a defensive first guy. Oh, so you had no problem with LeBron's 27, 8, and 8 with no defense? No. Oh, Did LeBron stop play it. defense? Come on. Last you don't compare year? LeBron no, let's, to Vogel. Did he play defense let's, last let's, year? Let's, let's, let's I'm have asking you. And you, you've, you've also forgotten the, the theme for the Lakers should have been last year surround LeBron with shooters, okay? That's what he needed. He didn't have any. So what'd they do? They went out and got Danny Green. They go out and they get Avery Bradley. They go out and get Anthony Davis, who can play the five. And Anthony Davis is the key to this injury because he's all along said, I don't want to play the five. Well, Anthony Davis, I got some news for you, buddy. Hard choices, easy life, okay? You want easy choices? You got a hard life. He has always said, I want to play the four. I don't want to bang with centers. That's not my thing. Hey, buddy, you got to bang with centers. You got to play the, the five. Lakers and want, the Lakers want the Lakers. They will be great with Anthony Davis at the five, LeBron at the four, and then the shooters. Cousins is a luxury coming off the bench. I feel bad for the guy. A luxury for a team that didn't make the playoffs. Stop it. Oh, he doesn't. Anthony Davis, let me clear this. He's better at the four position. He's not necessarily having to play the five. If they so choose, they could put a JaVale McGee, JaVale McGee. at the five, who, who still can switch off. He can play smaller guys. He's athletic enough. We all know who JaVale McGee is, but he is a good player when he's in the right situation. And I think with this guy, with these guys on the floor, JaVale McGee would fit in great. So to say that Anthony Davis has to play the five, I don't think he has to play the five. Will he need to? Hold on, Will great. he be asked to? You're going to play yes. JaVale McGee, Anthony Davis, and LeBron in a three and D league? Uh, what, I'm say what I'm saying is he doesn't have to play the five, he being Anthony Davis, because you still do, you still have JaVale McGee on your roster. I mean, I guess I can buy that. I just, I don't see DeMarcus Cousins, if he were healthy, playing more than like 20 minutes a night with the Lakers. I think he a could have been a big addition, and I think that you're poo-pooing him, yes, and acting as if he didn't matter. The whole thing would have been, you don't know if you could have added him, and this guy, just, just say he was completely, just say he was healthy for a change. Which he hasn't been in I, I get years, it, so but I'm saying you're, that's why you take, you roll the dice in hoping that, say he's healthy, and this guy turns back into the player. He's not that old. He's not like he's 35 years old. Turns back into something closer to what we used to see from Boogie Cousins. And then all of a sudden, the Lakers have something that, that, that they got on the cheap and is able to help them get to a championship. Can, can you I, explain I, to him that the Lakers' three best players, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, and Kyle Kuzma. Has Kyle Kuzma played in any big games in his career? Not I'm just yet. Asking. No, not yet. But, zero. But if okay. you look at last year. I like year, him. You I like him. wanted to but live in the past for Boogie Cousins. Two and three and four years ago, he was a transcendent big man. Are we saying ten, play, 10 years ago or a couple years ago? But again. People get hurt. I get it. This is his third major injury. I get it. In two years. How do but you I'm know saying he's saying if he was healthy, they were counting on him more than to just come in and stand around for 20 minutes. I don't, they, I, they were, but let's be honest. Like, coming off of that Achilles injury, injury like we weren't expecting a ruptured Achilles we're not expecting him to get back to where he once was that is if we look at Kevin Durant like it's yeah. going to be a long road for him to get back to where he once was no one's gonna think all of us the moment he steps back on the court Kevin Durant is gonna be one two three best player in the, in the NBA was Boogie playing in that game or he standing on the sidelines that where he got hurt was he playing it, yeah by the way who was he playing against in that no, game no but, and but let my, me, let me my ask, point what, what if is he was point? Such my a, point is that he was he was progressing to get back out there and be and be a cog for the Lakers Rob, he if, wasn't on the sideline Boogie Cousins was so good how come the other 29 teams barely look I like just him? told you what he needs to do is reestablish himself that gave him incentive to play hard, to play well, to prove that he deserves. This is a guy who lost $200 million in a deal. He's playing for his NBA life. I agree life. with that. He's playing. That's what. But he could have done that in any other city. No, no but that's the great guy you want to have, somebody who's playing for something, 
who's trying to prove that he still belongs and could be that player. I agree with that. The same could be said last year when he was with the Warriors. And he played well with and them he right until injured. he got hurt. So if you're, if you're bringing a guy like this on, you're not oblivious to the fact that of his history. Like, he's been hurt. Greg, right, when he came so you back... Automatically, you automatically assume, moving forward, if, if we don't have him... Are we able to sustain, and can we still reach our goals? You're not plugging in Boogie Cousins saying, man, Boogie Cousins is here. 20 We're and 10, good. baby. No, and you mentioned, you mentioned something earlier in one of your comments. You said, you know, we weren't, the Lakers weren't going to be expecting him to play big, big minutes. I 100% agree with that. Boogie Cousins is not a guy that you're going to put on the court 